Fifth grader Mary Keith and the theater students from Wellington Elementary School are the stars of tomorrow. Just The story of Little Orphan Annie has entertained millions since 1977, but you'd have a hard time finding a cast and crew as young and as talented as the students at this school. This is 1933. Get up, all of you! This is not your typical elementary school production. Elaborate sets turn a Palm Beach County school cafeteria into a New York skyline. The costumes take you back to the 1930s, and the performances from this talented cast lead you to believe you've stepped into an orphanage. It's a hard knock life for us. Static treated, we get tricked. Static kisses, we get kicked. It's a hard knock life. Sure, the children are great, but they will be the first to credit the man in the back of the theater. Uh, cafeteria. David Morrison has been teaching music for 30 years. He seems to push all the right buttons, whether it's motivating the students or setting the right audio levels. Mr. Morrison's so special. He turns our shows into just beautiful shows, like not even child shows, you know. And he's just so special. He's just a great man. A great man who is genuinely touched by the reaction of the students after this final performance. This group hug featured Mr. Morrison in the center surrounded by 27 cast members and a large crew. This group has grown together. They're a special bunch of kids. They never cease to amaze me what they're able to do. And I keep pushing and they keep responding. So as long as they respond, I'm going to continue to push them as far as they can go. The students have been working on this production since January. They practice every day in the weeks leading up to the shows. A lot of work and it's a lot of hard work, but if you put your work into it, then it makes it much easier. Zachary Duckworth plays Daddy Warbucks. He says this extracurricular activity has made him a better student. It's a lot of work, but I feel like the work has pushed me to do better in school and to learn what Having fun is with my, all my friends are with me and I'm, and it's just like so much fun to just have all my friends and be able to work as a team to make this huge performance. The show may have just one character's name in the title, but the lead in this production says this show is an incredible group effort. We're a team. We work together. We don't ever fight. We don't ever... You know, there is some arguments here and there because we're trying to move props and it's chaos and stuff like that. But what makes us a great team is that we all work together and we all help each other in what we need to help each other in. And we just, we're a great team. Just off stage, choir members from the school provide backup vocals. And just next to the choir, the big banner, announcing next year will be the start of the Fine Arts Academy at Wellington Elementary. Any student in the county can attend the school and be a part of these great theater productions or take classes in music, visual arts, and TV production. At Wellington Elementary School, the show must go on. I'm Rick Blackwell, reporting for the Education Network, keeping you informed.